So you'll probably remember uh, a couple weeks ago I went out uh, to pick up the old 1965 Mercedes-Benz ambulance. Well, we did get it home. Uh, it's safe and sound at my house. Unfortunately, it's pretty darn rough. I uh, assessed it out with my father-in-law, Dave, and um, it's probably going to be a little bit too much for us to tear into. But I do like the idea of an ambulance. And so today, I'm going out uh, into the country here to uh, look at a 1973 Pontiac ambulance. It's built on the commercial frame. These ambulances would have been built uh, on the same frame and chassis as a limousine or a uh, hearse, or in this case, an ambulance. This one, thankfully, uh, I believe is in pretty good shape. So we're gonna head out there and have a look at it. And with luck, um, Dave will drive my van back and I'll be driving the ambulance back with my son, Stephen. This will be quite an adventure. So I'm all ready to go and bring this thing back, but I just gotta check it out, make sure it's okay. So uh, next time you see me, hopefully we'll be checking over this ambulance and driving her home. So this actually happened. I ended up buying it, 73 Pontiac. Um, just checked it out, we shook hands and made the deal. So now we're gonna drive this car home and I'll give you a little tour. So the deal is done. We are driving back down the highway now, but this time we're in an ambulance. My son Steven is working the camera and uh, the car is driving fantastic. Very smooth, rides great, has a really soft suspension. And um, yeah, getting lots of looks. In the time it was parked in the parking lot there, had tons of kids stopping and thumbs up, so really, really cool vehicle. So we're gonna head down the highway, head back home, and uh, check this thing out. So I'm back home, made it here safe, the car drove fantastic. Sun is just starting to set, it's kind of getting to be golden hour here, so I thought I'd do the video before I completely lost the sun. Um, this car is equipped with, I think he's at a 455. It's a big engine in there anyway, 73 Pontiac. The Pontiacs are um, definitely a little bit more unusual. Usually if you see these, it's a superior Cadillac. Um, this one's a superior Pontiac, so superior being the uh, coach bodybuilder for this vehicle. And um, yeah, so let me kind of show you around. Um, all the lights and everything on it are fully functional. So uh, the lights on the roof, the sirens, the ambulance on the front. This thing is basically decked out uh, like it's still an ambulance, which is, to, in my mind, is pretty cool. I'm gonna open up the inside. Let's see, the door's a little sticky. I have to fix that tomorrow. So the interior is in really good shape. Uh, vinyl seats. I mean, this type of vinyl lasts a really long time, so it's in good shape. Um, you can see it has uh, a booster pump for the uh, fuel pump on it. So it says, if ambulance seems to starve for fuel, turn on fuel booster pump under the dash left side. Um, and I felt it lag a little bit, so I didn't use the booster pump. But I guess if it uh, pulls a little more fuel than the pump can manage, then it has a secondary pump on it. Um, yeah, so here's the, the federal siren. So I could have a lot of fun with this thing, let me tell you. Um, so it's got the siren here, uh, radio, the PA system. So, I mean, there's another thing that could be fun using the PA system, like pulling this out and, you know, randomly calling at people, you know, excuse me, sir, you've left your signal light on and, and annoying the whole neighborhood. Um, yeah, so that, that could be lots of fun. So, uh, dash, I mean, being in Canada, uh, the dashes don't really crack up here because the, the winters and stuff, so they don't see crazy amount of heat. Um, so the dash is perfect in this car. Uh, headliner is great, like everything works, even all interior lights. This controls all the uh, lights up top, so uh, emergency lights, roof sign, the little sign says ambulance, the siren horn, the siren brake, uh, panel lights, rear dome, uh, it does have air conditioning, so that's uh, kind of a handy feature to have, especially hot days, plus you wouldn't want to have somebody in trauma in the back and having some kind of uh, issue. This is the handle for the exterior spotlight. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go around and have a look at the inside. So here's the inside of the ambulance in the back. Um, jump seat, this one stays where it is. Uh, the other one on the other side, I'm just gonna sit down and show you. That other jump seat right there um, folds flat and then over one more time and turns into a big storage area. So with the uh, platform built up in here, there's still quite a bit of space. Um, like a person could actually stand. In fact, um, these little hooks up top here that's to hold a uh, secondary set of uh, stretchers. So this ambulance is actually equipped to carry four people total. So um, yeah, two up top, which boy, let me tell you, that would be a crazy bunk bed kind of ride. Um, and then uh, two down below. So even still has a stretcher here. We found this little box. Um, 
that was stashed, and this actually is still full of all the medical supplies. Like everything, everything is still in here. So uh, kind of a cool thing to have. Like it's still fully stocked. And this thing hasn't been used in an ambulance in a really long time. But uh, yeah, it came fully stocked. Um, there's all the uh, extra bins and stuff. So. Uh, even the neck braces. It's like a time machine. It's like a time capsule in here. So uh, really, really cool piece. I'm pretty excited about it. This is going to get a, definitely a lot of attention for the store and um, be a really cool thing to drive around. Um, even coming back down the highway, this thing was phenomenal. And these windows here, the big windows, they even roll up and down too. So come around to the back. So aside from a few little spots where the paint's chipping, um, I'll have to touch that up before winter comes so we don't get any rust on there. The chrome is all in excellent shape. I mean, uh, really condition-wise, it's really, really good. So yeah, I'm happy. It's a lot less work to do than my other one, that's for sure. This one is ready to go and um, yeah, just drove it home about an hour. So just about 80 miles or so home and it drove fantastic. So thanks for tuning in and watching another one of our crazy adventures. Um, if you like these little videos, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, you can also check out our website, curiosityedmonton.ca. If you're in the Edmonton area and you see this ambulance driving around, um, you'll know that it's our store and uh, we're gonna get the decals put on the roof here pretty soon. So um, it'll hopefully do a good job advertising for us. Thanks for tuning in guys and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. Bye for now.